This is a real quick video on a Whirlpool Duet wash, uh, front load wash machine that leaves water standing in the uh, tub there. And I'll, I'll show you what fixed mine. The first thing to do is to remove the three screws, one here, one there, and one there. And then remove this cover and we'll get to the pump that way. So if you want to pull this cover off, get the water out of here, it's going to make a mess. So the best thing to do is remove this screw that's right here. Take this screw out. Of course you got to use a, a torch. Uh, and then, sorry, and then pull this out and up and you can pull this out further and get a bowl and put it right here so it'll all go into a bowl instead. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, I had just a little bit of stuff. And the water is all blue. So, there, I caught all the water in the bowl. It didn't make a mess. That's the easy way to do it without making a mess. So, I gotta figure out what's really going on. If it's this pump, it's still warm. I'll figure out if that's what the problem is. I got it cleaned out and put the cap back in. Now it's ready to put back in place. Make sure these rubber grommets right here are in place. And then uh, stick it down in the hole and slide it back. And then put the screw in. And then, hey dog, you coming to help me? <laughs> are you helping me, Tucker? Also, your uh, manual is usually in your dry, in your washer somewhere. You can look through it. It'll tell you uh, there's troubleshooting charts and tells you what to do. Um, I'm just troubleshooting water being left in the wash machine. But I think I found my problem because I lifted up the cover for the motor here, and my plug is loose. It's halfway in, and um, so I think the vibration knocked it out from having heavy clothes in there, maybe from jeans or something. I think that's what my problem was. So I'm gonna run it a few days and see what happens. So I just push that plug in a little harder. It uh, doesn't feel like it clicks in, it just kinda pushes on there. There's no, um, actually there is a little thing on it, it's supposed to click, it looks like. It's not clicking down in the hole. Okay. All right, we'll give that a try. So when you're plugging this plug back in, make sure this top little tab here clicks when you push it in. If it won't click anymore, you could probably take a tie wrap, wrap it around this whole thing to hold it in place. But that was my problem because I ran this for two weeks and I have not had a problem with the water staying in the tub anymore. So other things you can look at of course is a plug filter right here also the um, the rubber drain here you could there's a ball I think above that uh, maybe a sock could get down in there something like that maybe plug it up and make it a slow drain uh, that's about all I can think of unless your uh, the hose to put it down the drain is clogged up with something and it can't pump it down that's the only other thing I can think of but my problem was the plug on the pump. The pump itself is fine, so before you replace the pump, check your plug, make sure that's what it was.